What's up guys, John here. I'm Sharice. And we are back with another Cupid's Corner. Awesome, good information that you guys can utilize. Honestly, whatever doesn't break you will make you stronger. That is the truth. Every week, if you don't know, we come up with these tips and tricks to help you guys enhance your relationships. I hope they all see this episode. Whether it's reigniting that passion or just developing a better, stronger relationship. We went through a lot of these trials and tribulations, so we wanted to give you guys the shortcuts. I mean, you guys might even do this and not realize it, and your partner might be currently upset at you, so we might help you in that aspect. This is true. <laughs> so, we're going to... What's up, guys? John here. I'm Sharif. And we're back with another Cupid's Corner. So every week, we come at you guys, giving you guys great tips, tricks, or some just some good advice to help you guys' relationship go to the next level, reignite some of those different flames, or just make things better, because we just want to be better, right? Everybody should want to be better, especially in their current relationship or their future relationship, because the past really doesn't count. All you want to do is, is learn from your past. Yeah, learn. So you don't make those same mistakes in the future, right? <laughs> That's what it's all about. Um, but, you know, this week, you know, I think it's important, you know, to t cover this particular topic, which is making sure you don't make your partner feel insignificant and making sure that they feel appreciated and, uh, you know, the same way that you treated them in the beginning, okay? And I, I think you know, a lot of the, the time people become complacent and they don't follow through with what they used to do. And, you know, the, the partner might feel that in some way, shape, or form. Mm -hmm. So we've talked about it in the past, like, you know, Sharice, like, she used to, like, and she still does, she writes me, like, little notes, and she'll, like, leave them places, okay? <laughs> um, you know, so random. <laughs> it's just certain things like that, right? The little, little details of little, little things, like text messages and stuff like that, which I still get and I love. Yeah. You know, and I try to send them back and stuff like that. You know, obviously, she's, you know, a little bit more romantic when, than me, but I, I try to be, you know, in my own life, too, as well. You know, He's romantic I, in his own way. Yeah, you know, I want to make sure that, you know, she feels appreciated, um, you know, that I'm there for her, and at that point, like... You know, I, I see everything else that's going on, and then I still love her just as much or more, definitely more, than in the beginning. You know, and uh, I hear from a lot of people out there, and, you know, they say, you know, I'm having this problem, you know, in my relationship where, you know, it started like this, and it might have been like, you know, little notes or, you know, just certain things that their partner would mm -hmm. say to them. Mm -hmm. And then at that point, like, now it's not happening, you know, it just... It has the love weared off, you know, which change comfortability, comfortability, complacency, like, yeah. you know, these are all different things that happen to a lot of relationships out there. Um, because I think that, you know, every day, obviously, the more you're with somebody, you, know, you should love them more and you're learning more about them. So it should bring you guys closer. But, you know, it kind of wears off to a certain extent, I, I think, with some of these couples out there and, you know. They were like that goo goo gaga in the honeymoon stage, and then after that, after so much time, it, it kind of wears off. Like you know, this is it's not a new thing. Like this, not, you know, it becomes like, routine. Yeah, it's like a routine. It right? is. It's just like you know, get up, brush your teeth, take a shower, go to work, come yeah. home, eat dinner, go to sleep, yeah. get up, brush your teeth, yeah. take a shower, go to work. <laughs> 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 Literally, it's that, that's just over and over and over. Except instead of like me telling you those those particular things, yeah. you're doing it in your relationship right you just don't realize you're doing it right you know and you know at, you know it, like during a relationship like usually couples like they find their boundaries of you know what they do and what they do for each other or you know chores or things around the house or things like that and they mm -hmm. kind of get in, into that routine too and like all right this is what we do and like it's not even talked about at that point like it's just certain things right just do it um but you know at that point like if you're not recognizing your partner, like, thank you, I appreciate it, you know, what you're doing and saying these different things, they kind of feel like they're getting taken for granted, you know, or some things or they don't appreciate what you're doing for them, um, mm -hmm. just the way you feel all the way around. Even a little thank you does go, like, a long way. Yeah. You know, I like using examples, right? <laughs> <laughs> I am going to, this is a recent example. I don't know if you saw my Facebook story yet. I didn't see the Facebook oh. story yet. So... Anyways, I, I woke up this morning, right? And I'm, you know, I told you guys, I wake up, go get the first thing I do, probably within the first three minutes of me waking up. I took a picture too, so I'll share it with you guys one day. But maybe I'll put it on here. I'll give it to Art. Oh, no. I'll give it to you guys. I'm going to, I'll show it to you guys what I look like. Now, don't judge me. 
But um, I'm in bed, you know, like trying to get all the emails out. I have a jug of water next to me and that's it. So anyways, um, this morning, you know, he came in and he gave me a, a ham and cheese croissant. Like he made me a ham and cheese croissant. And so I had put it on my Facebook and you'll see it later. Oh, okay. <laughs> but it does say like, you know, it was like, why is this ham and cheese croissant the best croissant I've ever had and then at the bottom it says because my husband made it for me because he brought it to me and he brought it to me in bed and it was all like crispy and it was just so yummy but it tastes extra yummy because he made it for me like I didn't ask him to make it for me he just made me one because he thought I might be hungry and he knows I like ham and cheese croissants so you know we're going on a little binge with these croissants right now but you know (laughs) me and John do binges but you know he knew I wanted like one of them and I just you know I put it on my story and he would have eventually saw it now I blew blew the surprise but you know it's just me saying thank you you know like I really appreciated that I thought that was so sweet you know and him doing it was sweet you know so it's little things like that makes the whole world a difference it does it really does it, does. it totally made my day and he, like I said it don't take a lot of money or anything like that yeah. you can make him something to eat you write him a note and, and that takes can. no money whatsoever that just takes a little bit of effort on your part mm-hmm. you know and, and you know you're gonna surprise them I mean it could make them smile it can make their day for the day you know it might make them appreciate you even more right mm-hmm. I mean you, you want to do these different things you know I think that the problem is is that people they just get so into these routines and, uh, you know, you can't say over time because, I mean, listen, we've been together for 13 years. We're, we're together every day, all day, you know, pretty much. <laughs> Literally. Uh, and we're, you know, most couples, they're working jobs. Even right. during COVID, you know, like I know a lot of people were at home together and that caused a lot of problems. People mm. weren't used to it. And, you know, I, they were getting into those nerves and stuff like that instead of embracing it to a certain extent and, and really growing your relationship, you know. And, but some people need that time apart too, yeah. like during their work hours or whatever it is. And that makes them appreciate their partner even more when they do see him. I can understand that that side of it too as well. I can't. <laughs> <laughs> That's me personally, though. <laughs> She's gonna have separation anxiety. Watch out, guys. <laughs> I'll be blowing in a bag. <laughs> Where's John? He just went out to the car to go grab something. Sure, he's gonna be right back. <laughs> You know, so I mean, that's another thing. You know, if you really want to, you know, do something really cool, like, you know, send your significant other a little present in the mail, right? And watch her unbox it or give it to her, whatever yeah, it is. Cute. That's cool. And like, totally unexpected. So it's not like a Mother's Day or Where it's Valentine's expected, Day. You're giving yeah, it's kind of like an expected thing. No, this is like you just doing it on like a one off, like, right? And you could give them like one flower and a little note if you're a guy. You know, you could do a lot of these different things, you know? I mean, women can do it a million different ways too so at that point you guys just got to find like little things you could possibly do to you know to appreciate your partner show the appreciation show them they're not insignificant right and you know if you used to do these things in your relationship and you're like man like i don't do those anymore you should probably start just you know i'm not saying go full blast but maybe adding that back into the relationship might bring the relationship you know to a better point because Mm -hmm. some relationships get to that little plateau area and then they start dying off or people start going apart or they don't feel the same way about each other and stuff like that there's reasons why Mm -hmm. um and and the reason is is because you know people do like they're not they're not spending the time together if you used to spend a lot of time together Mm -hmm. and then you go to spending no time together that's almost like a shock to the relationship yeah right um and let's say you start a relationship one way and for example, you guys both spent a lot of time together. You guys never went on girls, guys trips or anything mm-hmm. like that, right? And now all of a sudden it turns into I'm going on a guys trip every other weekend. I need to go out with my buddies. There'd be uh, fun, some fights you know, about then that. At that point, the girls are going to feel like, hey, listen, what, <laughs> what, what's what, going on? Yeah, why? All that's, of a sudden. That's not how it used to be, yeah. right? Now, when you start a relationship and you're both like, hey, listen, you know, I, I do these certain things. You guys establish boundaries right. and it's expectations. Right, it's being set, right. It's being set. And then at that point, like, you know, you work in. You know, me and Sharice are the example for that. Like, when we first started, it was like, she was like, hey, listen, don't bother me. Like, don't text me all the time. Don't, don't be yeah. hounding me. And I'm like, hey, listen, don't be doing that to me either. We're good, right? <laughs> me and you are good. It was so right? weird. Like, this pound so weird. Pound it. <laughs> but, so weird. You know, but then it gets to the aspect of, like, you know, you really do want to spend more and more of your time with that person or learn about We ended up person. hanging out a lot, and I was like, oh, I really like this guy. Yeah. And then, you know, the fact that he didn't want to know where I was at, now I'm like, oh. 
You don't want to know where I'm at now? Well, you didn't ask. You want me to not ask you where you're going? I'm like, well, you don't care? Yeah. So, you know, it was one of those weird. It was weird. You, you can't force anything <laughs> either, right? Weird. Don't try to force anything in a relationship. You try to force somebody, it usually negates them not wanting to do it even more. Mm-hmm. You know, they've got to want to do it. It's almost like, you know, like... Uh, a drug addict and saying you need to stop drugs well you need to stop you're gonna stop right now they gotta want to stop drugs right? right to do something like that and you know, that's just something you gotta do like you gotta you gotta give them the opportunity maybe communicate the way that you want the relationship to go or things that you're missing out on and at that point you guys come to some resolution communication. About communication again communication if you don't communicate people are not psychics well absolutely. i mean i guess there's some people out there that are psychics supposedly absolutely. but um most people they don't hold tarot cards in their pocket nope. they don't know what you're thinking half nope. the time you know and if you just keep playing it off like everything's cool yep. then they're gonna think everything's cool you don't have to be mean about it but you know it does make you you got just take a second to think about how you can make your partner feel special one day. Right. You could, it could just be anything. It right. could be like, uh, it could be a compliment. It could be anything. You know, it, it just think about it for two seconds. And if you do communicate with your partner, set out those, those boundary re- resolutions, and at that point, come to an agreement on it. Yeah. Now, if they don't follow through with it, then, you know, you have to, you have to go up and say, hey, listen, why aren't you doing this? And if they don't get a good answer, you guys might have to come to terms with other things. So that's another thing. You guys got to come to to an agreement and follow through with the terms of that agreement. Okay? (laughs) So that's just, it's just, you know, some some things I see out there. But that is the topic. Make sure you make your partner feel like they're number one all the time. And you don't have to be Make them a ham and cheese croissant. (laughs) In bed. It's like, it's just... It's real simple. Melts It's real easy, okay? It it made my day. Everybody likes to get fed. (laughs) That's what it is. I am always hungry. (laughs) So take that advice. I hope you guys are having a great day out there. We'll see you guys next Sunday and every Sunday on ABC. And if you guys miss it, just check out YouTube. Go to Titan Medical Center. You can see all the shows there, plus our social media, Facebook, Instagram. Look up Titan Medical Center. You'll find us there. I'm John. I'm Sharice. And we'll see you guys next week on another Cupid's Corner.